Hola, mi bitches. Tis I, Chloe, aka Mini Bish, on Insta. So I am. Well, we are. I am. Do you like the inclusivity? Do I need to say we, or is it like one of those things where you're like, why are you saying we? It's not we. You're the one doing it. Let me know. I like the inclusivity. So we are doing a like jack o' lantern pumpkin skinny colored patchwork mani today <laughs> so i'm using peachy keen from kara sky and we are going to dip all of our nails in this and i'm using my mani boss um dip liquids and well i'm using my mani boss dip base currently that is the only thing at the moment that i'm going to be using um so I am going to dip these nails, all five little fingers, into Peach Keen. And I wasn't really sure how this color was going to work because I wasn't sure how bright or dark or what it was going to be. But it actually, it is a very, very bright, but I'm not mad at it because it is very jack-o'-lantern pumpkin-esque like so yeah i am we're gonna go faster through um this situation because i'm just doing the same thing on all of my nails as per usual you know and it's just the dippy dip and nothing special for this just one solid color same color on all the fingers so no um you know uh i had to pause that like if you go back and rewatch that you will see all of the orangeness just fly off my thumb and right over to my dip base bottle so that was fun um Anywho, nothing special, just solid, same color for this, and we'll do the nail art. So and now we're going to do our second dip, and I'm just going to go through this fast, too. Um, so, yeah, because we have plenty of videos of full process dip situations, you know. Nothing special here. Um, same, same. I don't really switch anything up at all when it comes to this process. So, um, you can skip to the nail art if you'd like, or you can finish watching this. There's only a few more, um, I don't want to even say minutes, like seconds of it left. Um, I am going to clear cap because I do that even on solid colors. I like to clear cap just so I don't over file and file the color off or anything. So. Here we are going to clear cappy our nails. And then I'm going to activate. And then I'm going to file and buff you right away when I scrubby brush that clear off. You can see the orange just come back to life. And it's just so bright, like neony. I love it. Neony, neon orange, whatever. I like neon-y. Um, I, I actually really like this as a full mani. Um, so I was happy I chose this color. Anywho, gonna activate. Then I am going to file and buff off camera. And then we'll start the fun, interesting nail art. No extra specialness going on after this. <clears throat> so, I have filed and buffed, and I am back. And now we are going to get into this. I, um, <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Okay, so, I don't honestly know what I was thinking for this <laughs> now exactly. But I was like, I'll do one of those X smiley face things that 
people had been doing a while ago. I don't know if it's still a trend or not, but they were all over the place. And I was like, this will go in with the vibe of what I'm going to do for the patchwork situation that you'll see in a few. But I was like, we'll just do a little X smiley face guy. So I flash cured that for um, 10 seconds. And then I'm just going in with another layer because it was kind of sheer. It wasn't black black. I am going to be getting some gel paints because those are thicker. I'm supposed to be more pigmented. And I'm hoping that I will be able to get the color payoff in thinner layers than having to flash cure and double layer up and like all the stuff, you know, just make it my life simpler. So I'll be getting those and hopefully my nail art game will enhance. So I messed up on my X for the second layer. So I just took that pink brush and some acetone and tried to clean it up some. And then I'm going in with another layer on my smiley face. And then I'm going to be flash curing this again. And then <laughs> I am adding two dots here. These are going to be the starting points the, for the top of my eyes. And then I'm going and dragging um, diagonal lines down from that. And I'm going to be creating a triangle on both of those dots. So those were just the like tippity top of my, where I wanted the starting point on the top of the triangles. And when I was doing this, I didn't really think about the unevenness of the eyes, but I actually really liked that. So I flash cured those lines so that I wouldn't mess them up. And now I'm going in and um, filling them in. So I actually really did like how one was a little bit bigger, one's a little bit smaller, um, and they're not, you know, cohesive in that way because I think it adds a little character. However, what I did not mean to do was make it look like the face was falling off my nail, <laughs> which you will see more so with it being done here in a minute. So... It kind of looks like it's drooping to the side. I didn't mean for that to happen, but it happened. It, what am I going to do? Too late now. So, um, I flash cured that again. I'm trying this mouth situation. Let me tell you that it took me like so many tries to get this mouth right. Did you see how creepy that was? I was like, nope, <laughs> wipe it off. We'll do it again. So I moved on to a different nail so that nail could dry from the alcohol being rubbed on it. So now... I am just, I'm making a little um, white patch on this nail, just a little uh, like rectangle, filling it in with the white, and I am going to flash cure this for eight seconds. I don't want it um, fully cured, but I don't want it to be moving around either, so I'm gonna flash cure that, and then I'm going in with these nail pigments um, from Amazon, and I am just going to press these colors into my nail with a brush. So you just press it into the white, and then you, once you get it pressed in, so I did pink first, I'm going to go in with orange now and just try and ombre them. It's not the best ombre, but, um, it's honestly one of those manis where it's like you don't want it to be perfectly pretty because it's patchwork anyways and so you know add some character so i added those colors and you're going to finish the curing on that um so i finished for another 30 seconds and so now i'm doing the same thing on my pinky i'm just creating that um white where I want it so I went on a diagonal across my nail and then I decided that I didn't want it on the whole nail so then I created another line going down and we're just going to fill in this little triangle off to the side with white and then I'm going to clean up that other line there on the side I'm just going to take that off because I don't need it um we're not putting anything there at the moment or anything so I'm just going to take it off 
with my Ingold brush from Maniology and um, a little bit of alcohol, so rubbing alcohol. So I don't know why I felt the need to like clarify that it is rubbing alcohol. <laughs> and then I flash cured that and now I am going in with just pink on this one. And then we're going to finish off the cure and then you just dust off the powder and there that's your nail pigment situation and I'm going to outline these little colors um, on this finger and on my pinky I'm going to outline those and flash cure that and then I'm going to add X's on them to make it look like it is stitched and I really 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 tried to make these as thin and like little as possible and with that also came again the sheerness situation so I will be going back over a few of these um to like enhance the color and the darkness and then I uh cured it doing the same thing on my pinky outlining it now for some reason on my pinky I decided that I wanted to bring that line out extra and still separate like the tip from the rest of my nail so we aren't filling in that very very tiny triangle situation that's off to the um right side of my nail but um I'm still going to be doing the like x stitch marks um all the way across because why not and um that's literally all I'm doing is just it's little x's right across the line or and then if I feel like it's needs more but maybe a full x won't fit or something I'll just add one straight line through it and that's that now my thumb of course needs something because it can't be naked so I am going to be doing the exact same thing on my thumb but in this X pattern and I'm going to be filling in the sides of the X's and flash curing that and then for this part I'm going to do one side of the X pink and then I'm going to do the other side orange so I'm just grabbing that powder and this stuff is a very like loose powder it will get everywhere so be cautious of that and um so i just packed that in i cured it i'm gonna outline it here in a second i'm going in with my little nose for my pumpkin now my little jack-o-lantern face and now i am going to do the outline of my thumb and while it started off in like a good straight X situation, the way it ended was a little lopsided. So I have, I didn't want to draw the line going straight through. So, cause then it wouldn't have matched up right. So it's a little off centered on that part. But honestly, I think I liked that better because then it didn't look so like cohesive and perfect. It made it like actual patchwork looking situation you know so I was fine with that and so I flash cured that and then I'm going in again with the X's we gotta finish our stitch work here and again on some of these I did end up going back and um making them darker and now we're gonna go back and try our mouth again on this <laughs> do you guys see how creepy i like i could not get it i couldn't get it i have no idea it was not working at all nothing was it just no 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 so finally i said okay i'm going to just go in we're gonna make this cohesive with everything else i guess because i already had a theme of x's going on so i just drew a straight line across my nail and flash cured it and now i'm going in with x's over that so my pumpkin doesn't really look like a jack-o-lantern it's like a cross between a pumpkin and a skeleton i i don't know but this is what it ended up being because i was having so many problems with that darn mouth and so this is what it is 
So after I finished fully curing all of the nail art stuff, I'm going in now with um, Manny Boss 2-in-1 gel. And so I'm doing this. I'm not doing base gel base or anything. Um, I thought about doing gel base, gel top coat, and then going in with matte because I wanted to try the technique of going in fully with the glossy top coat and then adding the matte because it's supposed to make it even more smooth. But I didn't want because we already had all the nail art and everything going on, I didn't want to make my nails too thick and too bulky. And since this is a two-in-one, you know, it does all the stuff that it needs to in one time, I was like, I'll use my two-in-one gel. So that's what I am doing right now. I'm going to add one thin layer of that, and that is what it comes out after 60 seconds of curing. And then now, everything is all smooth and pretty, I am going to go in with my matte top coat on top of that. And this is my matte gel uh, top coat from Manny Boss again. So we are doing that. And I am cleaning my cuticles before putting, like cleaning the skin around my cuticles before putting my hand in the light. You want to make sure you clean your skin of any gel before you cure it so you don't get any allergy contact dermatitis situations and this is what it looks like this is my bright and colorful halloween manny that i actually really quite like i i, I think it's like perfectly imperfect and it just has its own little character situation i really like it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will catch y'all in the next one Bye, bitches.